Hello students, this is Dr. Anitara, your chemistry mentor, welcoming you for one more session in solid state. Today let us see how to derive the formula to calculate the density of a crystal. Okay, okay. this is a unit cell. Okay, This, is, uh, this crystal it will be having a number of unit cells and we are going to find out the uh, formula to calculate the density of a crystal. Okay, Now uh, let us consider the edge length of the unit cell as a okay so the edge length as a okay so this is the edge length now the number of atoms present in an unit cell see in an unit there are different types of unit cells is it not fcc face centered uh, cubic uh, and then uh, body centered simple cubic so different types of unit cells are there so depending upon the unit cell the number of atoms will be varying so now we are going to find out the general formula to calculate the density of a crystal is it not so, in general, we can have the number of atoms present in a unit cell as Z. Okay. Now, the, let us consider that the atomic mass of the unit cell. See, the atomic mass of this unit cell is considered as capital N. Okay. We shall consider this as capital M. And the volume of the unit cell. See, volume of the unit cell. What is volume? It's a length into breadth into height. Is it not? Length into breadth, length into breadth into height. Is it not? So now, uh, for the volume of the unit cell, the formula given is a cube, okay. So we should take into consideration the length, breadth as well as height. So it is taken as a cube. Understood, students? Actually, we are in need of the density of the unit cell, right. So what is density? Normally, density, what is the formula given? It is mass by volume, is it not? Right? So, so here, since, since it is asked for the unit cell, so we have to write as mass of the mass of the unit cell divided by volume of the unit cell. Understood. Mass of the unit cell divided by volume of the unit cell. Understood students? Okay now. So, next we are going to find out what is the mass of the unit cell. How to calculate the mass of the unit cell. So, mass of the unit cell can be calculated by another formula. There is another formula so the formula goes like this number of atoms per unit cell okay so number of atoms per unit cell uh, into mass of one atom mass of one atom understood students so this is the formula which is used to determine the mass of the unit cell so, if you want to find out the mass of the unit cell, we are in need of number of atoms per unit cell. So, this is the unit cell and we are in need of how many number of atoms are present in this particular unit cell. So, if you know that, then it can be multiplied with mass of one atom. So, if you are doing this, you will be getting the mass of the unit cell. So, already we know the number of atoms present in a unit cell. So, that is given as the Z, is it not? Z. But we are in need of this mass of one atom small m okay so we are in need of this one mass of one atom so how to calculate the mass of one atom if m is the mass of a single atom then man, m can be calculated from the following formula that is atomic mass atomic mass divided by Avogadro number okay Avogadro. So, atomic mass divided by Avogadro number. See, normally this atomic mass is given by capital M. Okay, it's given as capital M and Avogadro number as capital N suffix A. Okay, this is Avogadro number. So, if you know the Avogadro number and atomic mass, then it is possible to find out the mass of a single atom. Okay, so understood students. Now, this density the density can be uh, it can be written so now you know what is mass of the single atom okay so you know the mass of single atom you know z okay and you know the volume of the unit cell also so you know all the data now now you can substitute that in this density of the unit cell formula okay density of the unit cell is given by z what is z it is the number of okay so we are in need of density we are in need of mass of the unit cell so what is mass of the unit cell z into m what is M? It is capital M by NA. So, Z into capital M by NA. Okay, that is the formula, right? So, let us write Z into capital M by 
capital N, small suffix A, okay, divided by, so what is, what's the denominator here? It is volume of the unit cell. Volume of the unit cell is nothing but A cube, is it not? So why it is A cube? Because if you want to find out the volume of this unit cell, we are in need of this length, this breadth, and also height. So all three values, parameters we are in need of. So A cube, understood? That's why we are taking A cube. Now it is A cube. Okay, so or this is the formula. So, so density is given by the symbol rho. Rho is equal to Z into capital M divided by A cube into capital N A. Okay, so this is the general formula which we have uh, derived for calculating the density of a crystal. Understood? And there are certain conditions which has to be followed uh, strictly while we are doing the calculation to find out the density of a crystal. Okay, let us see one by one. The first one is, the first condition is if suppose if the edge length is given in centimeter. Okay, if the edge length is that is if A, A value is given in centimeter and this M value that is capital M. Okay, capital M value is given in gram per mole okay gram per mole then the density that is rho density will be given in gram per centimeter cube understood so this is the first condition the second condition is if suppose if the edge length a is given in meter okay, if it is given in meter and the capital m value is given in kilogram per mole if it is given in kilogram per mole, then the density will be given in kilogram per meter cube. This is the unit. Okay, understood. And the third category, see here third category, important one. If this edge length A is given in picometer, if it is given in picometer, then the rho value should be, then the formula will be, will go like this. Rho is equal to Z into capital M divided by A cube into 10 to the power minus 30. See, this is very important. Into capital N A. This is our Gadro number. See here, why we are using this A to 10 to the power minus 30? The reason is, see, when since the edge length is in, given in picometer, since it is given in picometer, we are converting that into centimeter, then we should include the term 10 to the power minus 10 centimeter. Understood. So, in this case, uh, here the unit will be gram per centimeter cube. Since we are giving the density unit as gram per centimeter cube, since we are converting into centimeter, so each edge length A will have 10 to the power minus 10. Since here we are having A cube, we are uh, substituting here the value 10 to the power. Since here we are having the term A cube, we are using 10 to the power minus 30. Understood students? Well, fine students, you might have understood how to derive what the formula to calculate the density of a crystal. I shall meet you with another important topic in a short period. Until then, it's Dr. Anita signing off from you. Thanks for watching.